In the pot, our world lay like a crowd of stiff rice grains, silent, none wanting to say the first word because there were no words. Outside, a pandemic banged on the door, aiming to squeeze its hands through the keyhole. I searched for words in the cupboard and poured it into the pot. Calls, texts, memes, a smiley face. A tip, grab the sun with your fist and press it on the pot until each grain of rice inside relaxes. And voices slowly rise out of the group chat, curling like steam. In the group chat, we share our recipes for self-care. Promise to send pictures of progress as we are cooking and baking. Something new to film me. Phone full of lists. One recipe I hug closer reads. Take a soup ladle and pour yourself back into your body. Through a sieve. Let nothing return without being scanned. Sit for hours until you rise. Enjoy your fullness. Share it if you wish. Tag ten people if you wish. Each day delivers a new way of connecting. I carry a plate of food to the video chat. We pretend we're in a cafe in Covent Garden. We imagine the music playing. Imagine children making noise outside, as their parents try to quieten them with candy floss. We confess all the random things we have mixed. Mine is rice and sardine, all the more common mixtures like laughter and tears, all the more humorous ones like a smart work top and pajama trousers. Everything feels serious, and nothing feels serious at the same time. We try not to think of tomorrow. Whether we'll even have enough to eat, we feast on the decision to keep going.